I'm gonna go ahead and start reassembling everything. I'm gonna start with the rear. The rear is the simplest in my opinion. And all you have to make sure is make sure those little tabs click in right in there. So this transmission is just gonna sit this way. it's a lot easier than that. Uh, let's see, what is holding it? Nothing. It just needed some abuse. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Uh, here we go. Now, one of the things that I like doing before I go into the tower, I like setting these rear screws in, and that just helps keep everything in place, especially once I'm doing these or the transmission. Uh, so I will go ahead and attach these. Now, if you have the version with the hex screws, you will be using a two millimeter driver for these two screws here. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a Phillips driver. Now, so far for everything that I've done, uh, I have only used a Phillips two. Uh, usually Phillips two and Phillips one are the only drivers that you will be needing. Make sure that you use the correct ones. Uh, I will go ahead now and set these, the ones that are farther forward. Now, you can buy an electric screwdriver and use an electric screwdriver. I'm not sure what the cost is. I like tightening things by hand. Maybe once I'm older, tired, weaker, I don't know, I'll use it. Uh, the only reason why I like doing things by hand is because then I can gauge the force. Not that I don't trust tools. Uh, I do trust tools. This is more of a habit uh, and a preference than anything else, to be honest. There we go. It also, I also get a sense on about how worn the plastics are. Therefore, if I start threading a screw in, and let's just say it's a part that I've removed 20 billion times, obviously exaggerating. See, what I need is a Phillips, a short Phillips, but with a longer handle. And a diamond tip. Uh, but anyway, going back to the plastics, uh, I can gauge also the resistance of the screw going in just to see how worn the plastics are. And to get an idea if I should consider just replacing the plastics because everything wears out eventually. How soon? That depends on the use. Really depends on the use. All right, here we go. And that's the bottom of the rear. Now all I need is to attach these the assumption is that you've already attached those if you watched the previous video. There we go. Now, if these videos are useful for you working on your cars, please hit a like, uh, subscribe if you have not. Even if these videos are just good background noise, go ahead and hit a like. Uh, I don't mind being good background noise. I'm usually my own background noise. One of the important things too, regardless, is buy quality tools. That's one of the reasons why I mentioned uh, those diamond tipped screwdrivers. If you're using Phillips screws, you need to get those diamond tipped drivers. They're gonna make your life a lot easier. Now for the motor, I wanna go ahead and plug the motor in. One of the things that you want to do is just run the wires through that hole in the shock tower and then connect them. Make sure that you connect red to red, black to black. If you do not, uh, well, you'll reverse the polarity, so it's going to run backwards. Not a big deal, right? And then you can just reverse it on your transmitter, but, you know, why do that? Uh, there we go. 
So that is the rear. I can attach the wheels, I'll worry about it later. Now the servo, the servo's gonna go on the right side. Here in, on your screen, right side is going to be up. And take the front end, set this in, and notice the orientation of the servo horn. So now the top is pointing down. Uh, there's a servo horn. This needs to be perpendicular when you run power through it. Before you attach the servo horn to the servo, make sure you run power and it's in neutral. Then place the horn so that you make sure it's 90 degrees. Uh, you may have to run some adjustments, some little trim adjustments afterwards, but that'll save you some time. Once the motor is here, servo, I apologize, so servo is here, and go ahead and attach these screws. Now, right now I'm estimating you know, kind of where the screws go because I do not want to stick my head under the camera. Uh, maybe I should make a t-shirt that says that. I don't want to stick my head under the camera. Right, telecommando t-shirts. Uh, some point maybe I'll make some. I prefer polo shirts though. Here we go. And all right, that one is snug. Got ahead of myself. I usually don't snug them up until the end. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and set the steering. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn it so it's accessible. And I'm going to go ahead and place this screw right in here. And just tighten this up. Now, if you do end up with uh, too much slack on the cord for the servo, just open up the receiver box and take some of the slack out. Put some of the wire in there. That's all you have to do. And that is it. And you just set this on top, move this off to the side. I mean, you can use this. And there's no need for such a long antenna tube. I'm not gonna cut it, I'm just gonna tell my friend, unless I forget, but you know, that happens. Sometimes, actually, usually I, I always forget things, especially those I can't remember. Man, I always forget things I can't remember. Uh, now, here, go ahead and hold it. And you have the two screws in the back. Now on the model with the hex, uh, screws, these will be two millimeter screws, and the other three screws on the bottom are going to be 2.5. Go ahead and do this. Now, there are different wheels that you can get for them, but they all attach the same way. Therefore, to not make this video too long, I'm only gonna put one wheel on it, probably. There we go. When it comes to this screw, I like going with the center one first. So go ahead and attach the center screw first. And then once you do that, you can deal with the other ones. Normally I would bring this one close, put this one, this one, then I would tighten this one and then snug up the rest and call it good. Today, I don't know, it's too late. Too late in the day, 
That's why I'm doing it this way. Uh, but that is it. Do not worry about these. These are for the slash bumper. The slash bumper, it's the same bulkhead. It would be one, two, three, four screws. You can use the slash bumper on this one if you wanted that extra protection. Now, the wheels, uh, the wheels, these happen to be the same left and right. You don't have to worry about them. But if there is a pattern, uh, this should always be pointing forward. Therefore, this one would be the left. This one would be the right. So that's a note uh, to make. So here, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, I generally like setting the nut in the driver, right in here. And then I will just grab the car, go here off to the side, place it, and then I'll hold the wheel, and then I'll tighten everything. And that is it. So all of the wheels are gonna to attach to the same thing. I am going to give you a little recommendation. So these are the nuts my friend had uh, in, on his vehicle. Notice this one is not serrated. He had this in the rear. Do not put non-serrated nuts in the rear. Put these in the front if you don't have serrated nuts. Uh, if you have the serrated ones, these should go in the rear always. Because in this vehicle, this is a two wheel drive vehicle, the power is going to the rear. If you put one without serrations on it, uh, they might come loose and then the hex is going to spin inside of the wheel. You can damage the hex along with the wheel. Keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, uh, this is the assembly and disassembly. So this is the final video for my teardown for the Traxxas Rustler. Again, I hope these videos were useful. Please go ahead and like. If you haven't watched the other ones, go, uh, go ahead and watch them. Also, transmission. Don't forget I do have that video explaining the difference between the 22, sorry, the 272 and the 272R. And so then I also have another video comparing the 272 and uh, VXL and regular, which on the modern ones, they happen to be the same thing. Uh, so watch those videos and please comment, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching the series. I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,